2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit Police Car? Well, 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 look what we've got here. Hmm, a police car. Dodge Charger, the official car for- Oh, I know you see me in your rearview mirror, so move aside, bitches. Here comes the Hemi. <sighs> this is a 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit Police Car, which is basically a base model Charger decked out with police equipment and a 370 horsepower 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine. And I know what you're thinking. 370 horsepower, 395 foot-pounds of torque. Ugh, unleash the gates of Plymouth Theory into 345 cubic inches of eight cylinders through hemispherical combustion chambers. We'll get back to that Hemi V8 soon, but for now, we're going to talk about the Dodge Charger LX. After an almost 30-year hiatus, the LX-bodied Dodge Charger was introduced in 2005 as the replacement to the abysmal Dodge Intrepid. Built on Chrysler's LX platform, which shares its underpinnings with the Chrysler 300, Dodge Magnum, Dodge Challenger, and Lancia Thema, the Charger was only offered as a four-door sedan and was only offered with automatic transmissions. In early 2006, Daimler Chrysler released a police version of the Charger, making its debut at the New York International Auto Show. Unlike the civilian version, the police Charger features updated heavy-duty brakes, a severe-duty cooling system, police performance electronic stability program, police performance tuned steering, and a dash-mounted shifter instead of a center console shifter. In place of the center console is an aluminum plate appropriate for mounting radio equipment, computers, and controllers for lights and sirens. The vehicle's electrical system is specifically designed for integration of siren and light controls, as well as other police vehicle accessories. 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit, a car for cracking open a cold one with the Mopar boys. So, uh, how does one acquire one of these here police chargers? Grab a beer, ladies and gents, and buckle up. So, police car does 140,000 or whatever miles, then it's time to decommission this 4,000 pound spaceship. So they take a sawzall to the center console and yeah, who needs a center console anyways? Then they take the lights, sirens, and other goodies, except for the spotlight, and fill them with rubber door stoppers and cock. And once the spaces charger is stripped of its pride and prejudice, it gets listed on a government auction site awaiting another humanoid to see its erstwhile potential. Look guys, if you want to the website that these cars get sold on, just Google it. So you buy this car and step into the world of platform sharing with that silver star dime piece Mercedes Benz. Ugh, this crap again? What gives, Chrysler? Oh yes, all you diehard Mopar guys that just love to boast about how American your cars are. But underneath all those low slung brows and that low slung body is the underpinnings of the Mercedes Benz W211 E Class. Even the transmission in this car, the heavy duty 5 speed W5A580 automatic, is a Mercedes Benz transmission. Oh boy, things just keep getting weirder and weirder, don't they? 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit. A car for the type of individual that experience a panthropization, the resignation of human concerns, or the withdrawal from the world and its problems. Yep, because it's 2010 and the Mayans predicted the end of the world just two years down the road, and America was just now settling down after the brutal shakedown from the 2008-2009 global financial crisis. Jeez, now, no wonder aliens don't come and visit. We're just sitting here in our German-American and people movers as we ended up in Texas. 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit. Powered by either a 3.5 liter V6 or the LS copycat 5.7 liter Hemi V8, which is enough get up and growl to hang out with first gen Vipers and Neon SRT4s. <laughs> This car would walk around circles around the neon. I'm not sure how this car drives because of reasons, 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 reasons. Ugh, encounters with the law and orders of South Georgia. 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit. It has multi-displacement system, or MDS, which shuts off four cylinders at close throttle or stable speeds to improve fuel efficiency. And what's funny is this car's highway fuel economy is better than the 3.5 liter high output V6. How about that replacement for displacement? 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit. Suit. This is a car for that special someone in your life that has no time or patience to deal with society's unconventional means to undermine and destroy the individual's life choices. Because when you see this car in your rearview mirror, especially the real police version, all those thoughts and feelings circle back into your brain and your heart jumps down to your ass and you swallow up your American pride, awaiting the impending anxiety that's about to ruin your day. It's sad, honestly, how American police cars carry this ill-rotten distrust that so many people flock away from. Yeah, some people look at this car like any 
any other car, but whoever spent the last seven years behind the wheel or seat dividers of this car, there's a strange feeling of guilt that comes with this machine. Whether it was a service call about domestic violence, or a roadblock checkpoint for DUIs, or even the casual cannabis consumption, this car strikes a sort of fear into many Americans, and that can be quite unnerving to live with. Whatever phone calls were made inside this crosshaired grilled hauler, whether it's telling the rents you've disappointed them, or just catching a ride home due to severe intoxication, this car was their chariot across the dirty south of these United States of America. 2010 Dodge Charger Pursuit A love child in the sanctuary of Jay and the monumental occasion to drink a cup of hot brown bean juice. Until next time, Charger, the end.